don't that's what they have there and then I have got the two. I didn't Oh, say Gilman and uh, Emeryville will be under the speed limit. Baybridge had the meter lights on. They are off now, so that's good news. No delays driving into San Francisco. In Brentwood, Highway 4 between Lone Tree and Sand Creek. Have an injury crash there in the uh, center divider between that's the two. Receipt. Looks like the left lane Do still blocked in both directions by emergency crews, so expect some delays <laughs> in the Brentwood area. Your next traffic update, 128 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Cloudy, patchy fog, more chances for scattered showers in the North Bay tonight. The Damn, next front to starts to move through. So Cloudy and rainy tomorrow. Showers especially picking up as we get later in the afternoon. Gusty winds pick up later in the day, too. Okay. Saturday through Sunday, cloudy, more chances for rain this weekend. On New Year's Day, things are going to dry out a bit. High should be in the 60s. And on Tuesday, rain and wind come back into the picture. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 K. CBS. <clears throat> Let's go back to your news watch. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, one of the most prolific figures to bring Munchausen by proxy disorder into the public eye, is being released from prison today after pleading Mr. guilty to second degree Do murder of her it? mother, who'd been uh, making her extremely sick for much of her life when she was actually healthy. And with this relatively rare type of child abuse coming into the public eye, there's also been a lot of misunderstanding and misinformation surrounding the condition, clouding the larger discourse. For more on this, Megan Goldsby spoke with Jordan Hope, Munchausen by proxy expert and survivor. They currently work for Munchausen support, facilitating support groups for other survivors and helping to raise awareness. Tell us, first of all, what is MVP? Yes, yeah, so Munchausen by proxy is also known as fictitious disorder imposed on another or medical child abuse. And it's a type of abuse or neglect where a person, typically a mother, is abused, fabricated, exaggerated illness in another, typically a child, for the purposes of attention or sympathy from medical professionals, families, friends, and or even the community. And there are three different That's types, there's medical, psychological, and educational. <laughs> so you'll see it through different things like feeding tubes or surgeries, but you might also see it through mental illnesses that are exaggerated or induced or educational through IEPs. Do we have any idea Do where it comes it? from, any factors that might lead to that developing in someone? Oftentimes we see this with cluster B personality things like borderline personality disorder, narcissism, psychopathy, but do I do want to say that borderline personality disorder already has a very negative stigma and I want to be clear that it's often a result of attachment trauma and having borderline personality disorder is not necessarily a warning sign of committing this type do of you well, let's talk about warning signs because not all cases get as severe, obviously, as the Gypsy Rose case. So what are some subtle signs that people might want to look out for? Yeah, so typically you'll see that symptoms that are being reported do, do not match up with what's being observed. The report is going to be different than the records that you see. Others in the home typically might also be sick or have these different strange disorders going on. Mm -hmm. A big one is that a parent will oftentimes seem happy that their child is ill, which is a big thing that differs from, let's say, an over-anxious parent. And typically, you'll see then also that the child will get better when there's separation from the mother or from the abuser. What do you think are some major misconceptions that we still have That's about this affliction? Do you want to hear it? So many, and one is that it's super rare. Uh, often we believe in the field that it's not that it's super rare, it is rare. We see it's reported as 1% in medical settings, and we believe that this is probably a lot more, but it's just going underreported because of the lack of education and awareness around it, even though it is most likely the most lethal form of child abuse with up to 10% of children dying. received. And then the other misconceptions it? that we see, the big ones are that it's not real or that you only see it in horror movies or things like that, or it has to include severe medical abuse, um, which a lot of these things just aren't true. Right. And then lastly, where can people turn if they need help? 
Yeah, so people yes, can so reach see. out to you MontanaFansupport.com <laughs> and on that website there will be, one, there's a lot of information already for families, for survivors, for all types of professionals, and then there's also a contact us form that people can fill out and then that'll actually go to me and you can talk then and get resources or referrals to different experts in the field and to get support around this type of abuse. That was Jordan Hope, Munchausen by proxy expert and survivor. Right now it's time for us to check your money. It was a close call for the stock market. Let's check in with Jason Brooks. Had investors maintain the market rally with the S&P 500 coming within just a few points of a record high while the Dow continued to push further into record territory. Boeing stock though a drag after the company told 737 MAX operators to inspect the planes for potential loose bolts in the rudder control system although maintaining that the planes are still safe to fly. And Tesla shares finished lower by 3%, and that sent the NASDAQ into negative territory just before the closing bell, finishing lower by 4 points, while the Dow gained 53 and the S&P was up by 1. Another big pullback to the price of oil, down more than $2.30, settling under $72 a barrel, and that weighed on the big oil stocks, with Chevron and Exxon each down around 1.5%. Pending home sales in November were flat from the prior month and down more than 5% from a year earlier, but the National Association of Realtors says interest is picking up in homes in December with mortgage rates down from their more than 8% peak in October. On the Money Watch, Jason Brooks, KCBS. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a health care provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper, and you can get it online? Just go to hymns.com slash radio. Through Hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and trusted generic alternatives to the name brands to treat ED at up to 95% off. That's right, the same active ingredient as the brand name for 95% less. It's the same ED medication, still prescribed by a licensed medical provider, but with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to That's this exclusive team. address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Anyone with a license to practice law can represent you when you've been injured. Any lawyer can call the insurance company and try to resolve your case. But if the insurance company says, go fly a kite, not every lawyer is willing to take your case to court. The worst thing is when the insurance company decides that it's cheaper to wear you down than it is to pay you the amount they owe you. So they just keep throwing lawyers at you, gambling that your law firm won't be willing to cover the expense of a long, protracted fight. At Habit Law, we believe that a personal injury Injury lawyer should take care of every client like they were a member of their own family. That's one of the things we do, and we do it very well. That's why we don't back away when insurance companies dare us to match them dollar for dollar. We believe in you. We believe in your case, and we believe we can win. Call Habits Law at 1 800 Insurance. When you talk with Habits Law, your day gets a whole lot better. I get a hundred calls a week about my home. Why is Left Coast Buyers any different? For one, we have experience buying homes with tenants in place. You mean I can sell my home and not worry about delivering it vacant? That's right. We specialize in the San Francisco Bay Area and will buy your home as is, even with tenants. What else does as is mean? It means no repairs, no appraisals, no problem. We buy homes in every condition. Even inherited, foreclosure, divorced, abandoned, and fixer-uppers? Yes. Just call Left Coast Buyers at 925-434-5000. But wait, what about commissions and fees? Absolutely none. We don't charge any fees to buy your home. In fact, call us today at 925-434-5000. And if you don't receive an offer within 24 hours after speaking to us, we'll add $15,000 on top of your cash offer. Call 925-434-5000. 925-434-5000. 925-434-5000.
Dave is in your local Honda dealer's traffic center. He's going to start us out on the Golden Gate Bridge. Now we get some big troubles northbound Golden Gate Bridge, and it had already been backed up because of people trying to get to the Vista Point parking lot. Well, now along the way, David at the KCBS phone force tells us there's a medical emergency on the sidewalk. So northbound between the North Tower and the uh, parking lot, the uh, right lane blocked by emergency crews. That has traffic backed up across the span. In fact, now it's backing up on northbound 1 Veterans Boulevard is come out of the tunnel trying to merge onto uh, 101. So big delays, San Francisco into Marin County at the moment. In San Francisco, eastbound 80, that commute starting to slow from 101 out to the lower deck of the Bay Bridge. Westbound slows Fremont Street.